All right, so I have a Pi. It's attached to a power bank. Um, I like my little switch here. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We're going to let this boot. And um, letting it boot will make the attack happen a lot quicker when we do actually plug it in here. So, let's see. Now, over here, as you can see, oops, uh, IP config. Oops. IP config that I'm not on any network. Over here there's no network traffic and I am not connected to any Wi-Fi or any um, Ethernet cables. My security is completely updated. I'm running on a fully patched Windows 10 and my Bluetooth is off. So, no Bluetooth. Oh, also, um, uh, let's see here, firewall, everything, my, um, threat, my, um, live threat detection, everything's working. Everything's completely updated. So what I'm going to do now with our booted up high is I'm going to take and plug it in. I know it's instantly. Shells created. Now, usually this would all happen in the background, and it could be even a locked computer. It wouldn't matter. The computer could also be on Ethernet. It could be on Wi-Fi. I just thought it was cool for the demo video that um, it was air-gapped. So we'll go ahead and unplug this. So now, as you can see, that the Pi is completely removed. And we could actually turn this Pi off and turn it back on, but for time purposes, we're going to leave it on. Now, we're going to come over here to this laptop, and I'm going to show you that... It also is air -yapped. It is not connected to anything, but we are going to connect it to the Pi. The Pi is admitting an AP. Keep in mind, no longer attached to the laptop that is on no network, and we'll go and verify all this here in a minute. And I'm going to connect to this network here. This network is attached. It's the Pi. It's a, the Pi is admitting this AP that we've connected to or connecting to. And now we're connected. So from here, we'll do another uh, IF config. And you can see here that I am connected to this Pi over here. It's like a local through the Wi-Fi interface. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to SSH into the Pi. Put in the password. I'm going to check a screen. And we're going to interact with ID1. We can do this with multiple um, computers at the same time just by, you know, plugging in and counting to five, taking it out, plugging it into another computer, and you can keep going out to about 15 to 16 computers before the server will crash. So uh, right here, uh, again, our Pi is right here in my hand, um, not attached to the still completely um, air-gapped computer. Let me not connect it to anything that it shows. Um, IP config. Oops, wrong keyboard. IP config. And still shows that we're not connected to anything, nor is there any internet traffic happening. However, if I were to just, and this usually takes it a minute, um, it is kind of slow. Do a DIR, let's just say, uh, to get the directories that, the root directories that I'm in right now, you'll see that I actually am, in fact, without st being connected to a air-gapped PC that's completely up-to-date on all of its patches and antivirus. I sit here and have a PowerShell just from plugging in the computer within seconds. It could be locked. And like I said, you can do it as a drive-by attack. So you can do this uh, about up to, I think, 16 before you're going to start seeing some failure. Oh, that's all I had to show you.